The nation's economy is on edge as a historic strike by 45,000 dock workers stretches across 36 ports from Maine to Texas. On the picket lines, the demand is clear, fair wages, and a complete halt on job-threatening automation. The International Longshoremen's Association, striking for the first time in over four decades, isn't back the stakes. Billions of dollars at risk, higher consumer prices, and potential shortages during the holiday shopping frenzy. As shipping giants rake in pandemic profits, union leaders like Boise Butler call for payback, demanding a 77% wage hike while the U.S. Maritime Alliance counters with 50% and some concessions on automation. The two sides remain locked in a high-stakes standoff, and it's not clear how far apart they are. Supply chains may not feel the pinch for a few weeks, but if this drags on, expect delays, shortages, and chaos, especially for perishable goods like bananas and critical imports like cars. Consumers, retailers, and businesses are all anxiously watching, and some analysts predict the strike could cost up to $4.5 billion per day. With Biden keeping his distance, it's unclear whether this labor battle will impact the upcoming presidential election. Stay tuned as the port shutdown threatens to rock the nation's economy.